All right, Tyler, it is November 2nd. It is Show Your 4-H Colors Day, and you are wearing them proudly. What is your connection to 4-H? Yeah, Chris, I, as someone that was grew up in a small town on a farm in, in western Quebec, 4-H was a big part of my life growing up. I showed cattle. We showed sheep. I did uh, judging competitions, did square dancing. I met my wife through 4-H. Uh, it was a big part of me getting jobs. And so uh, I'm one of you know many Canadians across the country in, in rural communities and, and urban communities and sur suburban communities that benefit from the great program that is 4-H. And so I'm really proud today to be showing my 4-H colors. Seven million members around the world in 70 countries. Um, what? But yeah, I don't know that everyone knows what 4-H does. So what is 4-H all about? Yeah, so 4-H is a youth leadership program. The, the 4-H motto is learn to do by doing. And really uh, what clubs are, uh, across the country do is they offer uh, young people um, um, project-based learning. So again, when I was younger, we did projects like showing a beef calf, but, but you know, today it goes from, you know, beef and dairy cattle uh, all the way to computer coding. Uh, you know, there's, there's public speaking, there's uh, all, you know, stamp collecting, there's, there's all sorts of, there's a science uh, competition, you know, the, the Canadian 4-H Council participates in a, in a, uh, runs a, a science competition for youth. It, it really covers quite a gamut and and uh, the, the local 4-H clubs, the provincial 4-H programs offer an amazing opportunity for young people to roll up their sleeves, get their hands dirty, try some new things and really embody that learn to do by doing spirit. And do a lot of people who are, you know, are members or who participate in those programs as, a, as young people, do they then go on to careers in agriculture? You know, uh, certainly agriculture is a, is a big part of it, but it's not all of it, right? We see, I know people that are 4-H alumni that, that work uh, across the economy that, that work in and out of agriculture, but they really take a lot of the skills that they learn as 4-H members and can carry that through the rest of their life. You know, uh, again, I talk about public speaking is a, is a big part of it. You know, uh, when you're doing a judging competition and you're trying to place, um, you know, again, uh, could be uh, loaves of bread that you're judging. You have to give your reasons sometimes as to why you place that, those loaves of bread in the order that you did. And so, you know, the skills that you learn speaking, the skills that you learn being part of a, a team, being part of a club, running meetings are skills that, that you know, people carry with them the rest of their lives. And, and, it, and again, the, it's, it's relevant and applicable for a career in agriculture, but it's really relevant and applicable for any career. Well, show your 4hcolors.ca is the website where people can go and it's $4 from every shirt and cap sold will go into funding 4-H programs. Tyler, thank you for your service and thanks for thank telling you. us about it.